Our project is the over-depletion of lithium-ion medical device batteries and is sponsored by the FDA. There is a high use of lithium batteries in medical devices, such as neural stimulators. There are many claims that lithium-ion batteries have negative side effects when over-discharged. Studies have found this bold claim to be true. Another concern with the use of these batteries in medical devices is if the patient over-discharges the battery and leaves it in that state for too long, an internal short circuit could form causing overheating or explosion, like seen in the picture on the left, when eventually recharged. The picture on the right shows a cross-sectional view of what a typical battery looks like. The internal components of the battery helped us to understand why these batteries have complications and to understand how to be our batteries once open. We ran through groups of commercial and medical grade batteries through four different tests to test the claims of lithium ion batteries having negative effects when over discharged. The test consisted of a performance test, an over discharge test to varying degrees of voltage, a recharge test, a post over discharge performance test, and finally a capacity test. The images you can see are of the tester we use and its interface. These tests were monitored using thermal imaging to ensure the batteries were not going into thermal runaway, as you can see in the picture on the right. The picture on the left was used to calibrate the thermal camera. Once each group of batteries had been run through their respective testing, we needed to open them to be able to image the electrodes. We completed the opening procedure within a glove bag to try and make the environment as inert as possible. To begin opening the control batteries, we used a pipe cutter to score all the way around the outer casing of the battery near the positive terminal. Then, we cut off the positive terminal with scissors. Once the positive terminal was completely removed, we peeled off the plastic label of the battery and also removed the metal outer casing using pliers. After that, we were left with the electrodes either taped or glued into a cylinder. The tape or glue was removed so that we were able to start unrolling the layers inside of the battery. The outer layer of the cylinder was the anode layer, followed by a separator, then the cathode layer, followed by another separator layer. The layers also contained the electrolyte that is inside the battery. Once the layers were separated, we were able to prepare samples from each electrode sheet to be imaged and analyzed. Finally, we placed the battery's remains into a separate plastic bag for future disposal. After running our tests on the batteries, a sample was selected from each group to be opened in a glove bag and imaged using an FESEM. This is an image of the anode of a control battery that was not tested whatsoever for comparison to the over-discharged batteries. As you can see, there is no clear evidence of corrosion on this electrode. What appeared to be degradation was found on several samples of electrodes from the over-discharged batteries. The anode from group A on the left was only over-discharged down to 1.5 volts and did not show that many signs of the specs seen in the picture. Looking at the anode from group C on the right, which was over-discharged down to 0 volts, it was almost difficult to find spots that did not show the signs that might be degradation. These observations led us to believe that over-discharging these batteries did more damage than the manufacturer claims. This project moving forward should test popular medical device companies' batteries to see if they disprove the claim. Also, other compositions of medical batteries should be tested to see what combination of lithium batteries causes complications and which are proven to be safe. We would also recommend future students to be trained on the environmental SEM instead of the field emission SEM for a larger sample size and the ability to analyze the chemistry of the samples.